My name is Steve Emerson, and I'm a voice in counterterrorism and the counterterrorism community in the United States. I, I started working at the investigative project on terrorism, which I founded in 1995, following broadcast of my documentary, Jihad in America, in November of 1994 on public television. And that documentary aired for the first time uh, video exposés of jihad groups operating on American soil and uh, planning jihad or recruiting for jihad against the United States. Uh, or at that point, uh, uh, some of them were recruiting for jihad against the Soviet Union earlier uh, in that decade. I started working uh, after uh, graduate school down on Capitol Hill on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee staff and then left that in 1981 to uh, become a freelance writer uh, where, I, where I spent time writing my first book called The American House of Saud, The Secret Petrodollar Connection. I joined U.S. News and World Report after that as an investigative reporter and then left U.S. News uh, in 1990 uh, to join CNN as a correspondent. During that period I wrote several more books including The Fall of Pan Am 103 about the Lockerbie crash, another book called Secret Warriors inside the covert op operations, military operations of the Reagan era uh, that revealed for the first time the Delta Force and other special op units that had never been revealed joined CNN and stayed with CNN until 1993 and then left to produce the documentary Jihad in America. Uh, since that time uh, I've spent building up the archives of the investigative project on terrorism into the largest single uh, intelligence open source resource on militant Islam any place in the world. Uh, we have close to 40,000 hours of undercover recorded video and audio of jihad training, uh, recruitment gatherings or radical Islamic groups. Um, we've got uh, several terabytes of information and we have close to five million documents, printed documents, uh, that have been culled from either jihad websites to uh, exhibits from court trials and prosecutions to internal documents we've gotten from the government. We are uh, focused singularly on the threat of radical Islam, um, primarily in the United States, although we've also done exposés and investigations into the threats of some of these groups worldwide and their tentacles between their American branches and their headquarters, either in Pakistan, Gaza, uh, Lebanon, uh, Iran, and elsewhere. Um, our, our website uh, uh, puts out and, and disseminates open source intel and dossiers and special reports that have been prepared by the staff, but 50% uh, of the intel we collect and, and, dis and uh, produce does not get disseminated publicly. Uh, that's reserved for uh, internal use or for government use. Uh, the government does not pay us. Uh, we are totally a tax-deductible 501c3 organization without any recourse of dependency upon the government or any governmental entity or any source outside the United States. Uh, and we do not depend upon any religious or political organization to fund us. It's all personal or foundation oriented. We. Uh, Generally speaking, uh, work with the media, work with Congress, and then work with the executive branch. And within the executive branch, we work with the intelligence and law enforcement agencies, uh, from the military uh, to the FBI to the Department of Defense uh, to the Department of Justice uh, to Homeland Security uh, or to DEA. Uh, within Congress, we work with both sides of the aisle in terms of uh, briefing Congress and congressmen on the threat of radical Islam and in particular uh, individual threats or individual cases that they may wish to know more about but 
aren't, aren't getting the full briefing from the FBI. And we work with the media, and that, that's the international media. Uh, from uh, and I've appeared in Al Jazeera to NBC News to uh, Fox uh, and to the international print media. We don't discriminate. Uh, we're a resource for information so that people are aware of what's going on and that's the only reason we exist is to make people aware of the threat and the threats that are experienced in the United States but which may not be publicly known.